Nottingham Forest, who host Tottenham Hotspur, as we welcome in our Premier League insider, David Ornstein. Um, want to start, want to talk with, about some managers, David. Steve Cooper, we know he's under a lot of pressure at Forest at the moment. Um, what's the latest that you've heard? Yeah, the pressure is there, Anna. No doubt when you're working under Evangelos Maranakis, who's a very demanding owner at Nottingham Forest, and also results have not gone Steve Cooper's way of late. However, he is under contract until 2025. That was signed when he was under pressure last year, and that does give him some security, whatever happens. But I think the draw at Wolves was crucial last weekend. Uh, it only gave them one point, but they felt that they got back to a level of performance, of character, of spirit and togetherness that they had not showed previously. Of course, they were on a run of four straight defeats. The first three of those were not unduly concerning. The fourth against Fulham was. That really did worry Maranakis. And I think if there had been a repeat in the Wolves game, then there could have been big trouble for Steve Cooper. But what was actually seen was the opposite. And there was a real sort of uh, rise in their performance level that I think has given some encouragement inside and it's perhaps eased the immediate concern. He's not on the brink. Tonight will be interesting. It's not a case of you've got to win, Steve Cooper, or you're out of the job by any means. Uh, but results do need to start coming. Of course, this is a results industry. Uh, Maranakis doesn't demand that he's going to be a top six finisher, but also they don't want to be in a relegation scrap. So he does need to deliver. Off the pitch, Forrest are trying to deliver. They're trying to bring the club up to Premier League standard because it wasn't there just a year and a half ago. They were in the championship. Their facilities, their structures, their processes were sort of mid championship level and so they're trying to rise uh, they might do some more business in the January transfer window Maranakis himself it was confirmed today has converted 11 million pounds of debt into shares he's done that in the past as well and so let's see what recruitment they might do on top of the 250 million already spent in the um, uh, the year and a half since they've been in the Premier League I do expect some ins I do expect some outs too. Maybe the likes of Joe Worrell and Scott McKenna, who again are not playing tonight. And the Africa Cup of Nations could see Nottingham Forest lose up to seven players, let's see, for up to a month. So there's a lot to be thinking about there at Forest. But for now, Steve Cooper is on steady ground. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.